Hello everyone, and welcome back to a very special episode of The Sims 4 Random Pets Labarkatory Challenge, where we dive in to our labarkatory and we mix and match and merge the different genes of different animals in order to see what their hybrid offspring would look like. And today is a special edition since The Sims 4 Magical Realm has come out Oh my gosh, I am so ridiculously excited. I cannot wait to be able to explore the magic realm and to be able to take along our Sims and go on so many stories. But I also want to take along some very, very special familiars. So you guys, today we are going to start what I hope will be a really fun magic version of uh, the Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge. So I hope you guys have some great ideas ready to go for different types of magical animals that we could try to create out of the custom content that we have and present as potential magical familiars for all of our future witches and wizards that we will have in our world. And today I'm going to introduce you to some of the coolest custom content we have by presenting you to a phoenix! <gasps> Look at this! Is it not one of the coolest things that Kalino has ever made? And by the way, Kalinotron has changed her name to Kalino, so if you're looking for her and her awesome custom content, you can actually find a link I retweeted recently on my Twitter. Uh, I love, love, love her work because look at what we have transformed what could have been a dog into! Isn't it the most beautiful phoenix? I am so in love with it. It has a beak. We've got those little pointy ears. We've got some big old bird eyes that we're staring straight at. We have beautiful feathers on the lovely wing. And we have a special mix of front claws and back hooves all on this animal and it's amazing. So this is actually a phoenix that you can download from Kalino's gallery. I highly recommend doing that. Make sure you have her custom content installed or else you will not be able to have this fiery companion. But I just love, 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 love the idea of having a phoenix roaming around my Sims 4 world because it escaped from the magic realm that has now opened up. So this is gonna be awesome. Uh, and if just to go over it really quickly, if you guys are wondering what pieces of custom content are put together, we have the beak, which the beaks do come in multiple colors. So you can make yourself quite a few different parrot birds or cats. Uh, like the cats and dogs, I mean, could have the bird beak. It comes in, uh, I think it comes in large dog and cat version. I'm not sure if small dog has it. There's also a sharper beak if you want something that has a little bit more of an edge to it. Personally, I really like this one right now. Then you've also got, coming on down, we also have somewhere in here, there it is. So then there is a special leg piece. You can see this is what it looks like without it that transforms your pet into, ta-da, kind of like that hippogriff style where you've got those front paws that are claws and the back hooves. There's also wings, so let me see, can I find the wings? Oh, 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 I think I just passed them. There's the bat wings, which we will be working with in the future for a bat cat in the Labarkatory. I mean, look over the custom content carefully, friends. If you guys end up coming up with a really cool idea for our special magic crossover, I want to hear it. There's even a little hat in case you want to have like a little witch hat on your animal too. Here is the face for um, the griffin. So this will make the griffin ears, that's right. And you can see how the ears changed. And then somewhere down here, I probably zipped right past it. You can make a unicorn, don't forget that. We'll have to crossbreed a unicorn pretty soon. But right down here, there we go, are the wings. And they come in so many varieties. Like, look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, there's a ton of fantastic custom content. She has done an amazing job. But all right, today we are going to tell the story of Lunar Kitty Phoenix. After Lunar Kitty, thank you so much for leaving a sweet comment in our previous videos, but Lunar Kitty has escaped from the magical realm. As the portal opened up, she burst forth in a fiery blast of fire. Uh, imagine that, a fiery blast of fire. <laughs> Her wings alight and she was ready for freedom and flight in a new world. 
and little did she know that soon after she arrived, she would meet Royal, who is actually a purebred Border Collie. So this should not say mixed breed. He is a purebred Border Collie. I just mixed up his, his, you know, his little traits. He's very energetic, he is very stubborn, and he is very adventurous. And Royal here is uh, in the fields of Glimmerbrook. The fields of Glimmerbrook are usually crowded quite a bit with trees, but he has managed to find a nice little spot where he and his owner hang out with their small flock of sheep. And you know, Royal takes good care of the sheep that he watches after, but he secretly has a more stubborn part of his heart that wants to seek adventure and do more than just herd sheep like every other border collie his whole life. His whole life, what he has really wanted to herd are geese. Yes, that's right. Royal has wanted to herd geese. They fly in the sky, they defy his organizational skills, and he just cannot handle this any longer. So, when he ends up meeting Lunar, as Lunar flies overhead and lands down in the field in a fiery burst of fire, let's just keep going with that because it sounds ridiculous, she settles down to get a drink, and as the fires quickly die down, Royal approaches. There's feathers, there's wings, and there's romance. So we're gonna go ahead, these two are going to meet, uh, and I think between Lunar and Royal, they just might be able to herd the geese of the sky as they wish to do. Uh, but I really love these two, they just like instantly had a little story that popped up in my head, so I'm very happy about that. But let's lay some eggs and hatch some puppies and see what a litter of Phoenix Border Collie puppies is going to be. I'm really excited about this. There are so many different parts for the puppies to possibly... <gasps> You're so precious! There's so many different parts for the puppies to possibly inherit. And I'm, I'm just really, really, like, hoping that they will become little flying fluffs who can live out their father's dream of herding sheep. But all right, the firstborn here is Little Frost, named at Frost as requested by Morgan. So Morgan, thank you so much for your sweet comment. As always, you guys, if you want to become one of the animals in our laboratory challenge, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and then the random generator may pick you. But all right, let's go ahead and randomize Frost traits. Uh, Frost, you cannot produce wool, that is for the sheep to do. And you cannot produce milk, that is a cow thing. However, you can be a troublemaker who is jumpy and a hunter. All right, maybe we'll be chasing those sheep yet. Okay, let me pull up the next name. And we're gonna go ahead and mix Lunar. Come on, beautiful red coat. Oh, you're so pretty. Okay, I will accept this as well. So this is actually Happy Duck. After Happy Duck, who left a comment in our previous videos, holy cow, Happy Duck, oh, what a cute name for what will hopefully grow up to be a little phoenix. And Happy Duck, you are independent, a couch potato, and jumpy. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's get the next one. Oh, I really, really want that coat color. I really, really, really want that coat color. I Oh, this is cute too. This is cute too. A little girl who looks very much like her dad. Can't wait to see when they grow up what they're gonna inherit. And this is actually Kina Marie. So Kina Marie, thank you very much for your sweet, sweet comments and all of the little hearts that you left. I am a fan of emojis, as you guys know. You are a hairy, jumpy troublemaker. Hmm. I think they have some of their father's intelligence and they're just putting it together in an interesting way. Oh, please, I really want the red coat. I really, really, really want the red coat. All right, there we go. <gasps> Not a red coat, but red eyes. And like I told you guys, the demon eyes are finally appropriate because it actually matches uh, the magic genes now. But all right, this is gonna be Sam after Sam George. And thank you so much for the sweet comment, Sam George. I will definitely consider a lion and a white tiger in the future to memorize Cameron and Zabu. Uh, also, you cannot produce wool and milk. However, you can be a smart, adventurous, vocal little one. So welcome to the little litter that we've got going. Please, 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 red, 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 and Phoenix. Okay, again, not the red phoenix we're going for, but I'm kind of falling in love with all of these little ones. And this little one is actually gonna be named Dog. 
<laughs> After dog DIY, thank you so much for your comment. This is hilarious that you we just have a like dog. Like this puppy is named Dog. I love it. All right, so you are playful, jumpy, and a sleuth. I see. Whew. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, guys. This is the last of it. Will we have the red little Phoenix Border Collie mix that I'm really hoping for? Go! Ah! Phooey! That's okay. That's okay. I think they're all cute anyway. And now we have Kitten Games. So Kitten Games, thank you so much. How cute. In fact, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go with Kitten, because then we can have Kitten and we can have Dog. <laughs> the Phoenixes. Kitten, welcome. You can't produce milk, but you can be a jumpy, playful, smart little one. So, all right, there we go. Not a single red phoenix in the mix, unfortunately. We'll probably have to try it with our phoenixes in the future. I just really want to see that glorious coat color passed on. But let's go ahead and uh, see what these little ones are going to grow up to be. I have my handy dandy dice ready to roll, and we need to think about inheriting. The ears are not custom content, it turns out. So we need to think about inheriting the beak, the wings, and the legs. So there are three things that each puppy could grow up and inherit. Frost, you're first. Frost, look at you. Okay, and hang on. I'm getting all the details. Frost has only inherited the beak. So we have a beaked puppers. Okay, I can I can get behind this. I think that's actually kind of cute. So Frost is a little beaked puppers. I love the little flop ears and the eyes. Oh my gosh. There we go. I think that that would definitely make the sheep think twice about not behaving. But all right, so not a winged one, but one to run alongside Royal, their very handsome father. And I do kind of love the huge face. Like I think that's actually from the Phoenix mother. But all right, Happy Duck, you're up next. <gasps> Happy Duck, beautiful. And you have actually only inherited. Are you guys ready? Because I think that Happy Duck is about to become your guys' favorite. Happy Duck has only inherited the wings. <gasps> That's actually so pretty. Look at her. She's like a little angel. Oh my gosh. Maybe, but I kind of want to give her like pigeon colored wings. I know that's silly, but I kind of think like she she could have some pretty pigeon colored wings. There you go, happy duck. So she is a winged dog who is half border collie. So no doubt she will be able to help out when it comes to uh, herding all of those geese in the sky the way that her father really wants to do. Ken Marie, you're up. Oh, Ken Marie, you're cute. And Ken Marie, let me get all of the details. Ken Marie has inherited Da, 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 da. The beak! And she has also inherited da, 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 da. the wings! So we have beak and wings, but no hooved feet. So we've got two! Two out of three little flying, like, bird dogs. Oh my gosh, they're literally bird dogs. Ha! All right, let's go ahead and see what little Sam is going to get up to. And Sam, you're gonna grow up into. <gasps> Oh, I actually really love that face. Oh my gosh, Sam, you're very pretty in a very kind of creepy way at the same time. And Sam has actually ended up getting the beak. It looks so good on that muzzle, what? And Sam has also ended up inheriting the wings, which we will leave white, but not the feet. Oh my gosh, I think Sam's my new favorite. Look at how long that beak is. That is so cool. Wow, okay, dog. You have a big thing to live up to. What are you gonna turn into? Oh, dog is so cute. And dog has actually inherited in our randomized genes. Dun, 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 dun. Dog has inherited a uh, golden beak. I think we'll go with the golden beak. Dog has inherited the beak. Dog has inherited dun, 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 the wings. And dog has inherited the legs. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Dog! You're a dog griffin phoenix! You look awesome! Okay, I'm actually very tickled about this. Like, I really like the whole combination that we ended up getting here. This is fantastic! 
And then finally we have a kitten. So dog has set a good example. Kitten, what are you going to turn into? <gasps> so pretty. I don't know why I love that face, but I just really do. It seems like super intelligent, very curious. And she did not inherit the beak, which is interesting because most of her family did. But she did inherit the wings. So we are going to have wings on this puppers. And she inherited the legs. So we have the wings and the legs. There we go. Look at Kitten. Kitten, you can fly. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five. So other than Frost, all of them can fly. And Royal is able to see his dreams soar with all of his children. So what do you guys think? I'm actually really happy with how things turned out because I didn't realize how much I just wanted like Happy Duck the Pigeon Dog or how much Kin Marie would just look really, really cool, kind of like a hawk. I think Sam is my favorite with the red eyes, the long beak, the white body, the white wings. I think Sam is way up there. Oh, but I, I mean, look at Dog, a beautiful golden phoenix with floppy border collie ears. Ah, there's so many choices. And then Kitten looks really cool too. <laughs> okay, that was fantastic. Good job, Lunar Kitty the Phoenix. And hopefully we will get some more fiery phoenix babies in the future. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our fantastic phoenixes. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.